I thought we might have time in this season for one more Lessons from the Garden video. This weekend, I was in my perennial bed. I don't know if you can see behind me, there's this big space now. There was a great perennial shrub that was flowered yellow, and it was just really gorgeous. And My dad had given me a part of it to put in many years ago. Well, it had overtaken the area. Um, didn't look healthy anymore, and plus it was stealing from the other perennials that I had in here. So this weekend I dug it out and those roots were pretty deep. And it brought to mind scripture for me um, because a lot of times in the garden or in the work that I'm doing, I will be praying. And the Lord put on my heart the scripture, Matthew 15, 13, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be uprooted. And so I was thinking, there seemed to be a theme that weekend of what are the unhealthy or the things that are kind of strangling or deeply rooted that I need to um, ask the Lord to help me root out. And I thought I would pose that same question to you. You know, think about um, the things that have taken root in you or, or overwhelmed the joy in your life. You know, things like fear and anger or pride you know, have they overwhelmed your um, your sense of reason, your compassion, um, your judgment? We're in a time right now where there's a lot of divisiveness and uh, in politics, in um, how we handle COVID, uh, in even spiritually in our church, and so we have an opportunity to really look at our um, emotions behind all that and whatever they are to be able to treat others with compassion and, and respect. Um, think about, too, you know, what are some of the habits maybe that you've gotten into that are not so healthy, that are rooted deeply in you and they've become comfortable? You know, the news, watching a lot of news, scrolling through social media, um, other habits maybe that are not so good for your soul that are taking the place of things that could be helpful. I watched also this weekend uh, in a conference, um, Trent Shelton, who is a former NFL player. He's now a Christian motivational speaker and he, boy, he's just like on it, on fire and, and just rattles it off for you. And he talked about this as uh, what you're connected to, what kind of power source are you connected to? You know, are you connected to that negative power, negative perspective, and how can you connect to something that's stronger and um, that's better for you? Then it's about your perspective. You know, he said, your perspective is either power or it's prison. And so thinking about, you know, we can't control our circumstances. I've said this many times before. We can't control people, people in our families, people that we meet. We can't. But we can control, we can choose how much we let them in, how much the circumstances give us that stress, how much we allow them to steal that joy from us. You know, um, in Luke seventeen six, Jesus tells us, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would obey you. And so he's telling us, you know, don't lose heart. You need just a little bit of faith to ask the Lord to root out these feelings or these things that are have taken over, that don't allow you to be the best person that you can be. Um, reconnect to a better power source. You know, reconnect to the Lord. Ask Him to show you what it is that you particularly need to uproot and help Him uproot. Have Him help you uproot it. And what you, um, what you can replace that with, you know, practices. Is there a new spiritual practice that you can undertake? I have somebody that I see that uh, she has just fallen in love with the liturgy of the hours, and she, she swears by the practice that it's changed her in ways that no other self-help or um, practice has been able to do for her. Uh, is it or people? You know, who are you spending your time with? Are there people that you need to surround yourself with, maybe to to lift up and bring you more encouragement. Um, one thing that I have been working on myself are the virtues of Mary. 
there are 10 virtues of Mary that um, we can learn to imitate. And uh, you know, I've been focusing on ardent charity and just trying to see people and loving them, um, seeing Jesus within them and loving them for who they are, no matter what I think <laughs> up here, it's loving from here. So my challenge to you is to look for those plants that have taken root, look for those practices, those um, habits, those uh, emotions that have taken root and ask the Lord to help you weed them out, pull them up, plant something new. God bless you.